What's up and welcome guys, I'm Luke Martin with ChopstickTravel.com and today I am in China. We are going to be taking you on a very interesting tour. So right now it's about 7 a.m. It's a brisk morning here in rural China. We are in a place called Hangxi in Zhejiang province. And we are going to be taking you for kind of a full day tour, maybe a little bit of a vlog. So we're going to be visiting a morning market which is right over here, uh, doing a little bit of breakfast snacking and then visiting some other attractions throughout the day. And also tonight we will go to a night market in Ningbo city, which is about an hour from where we are now. So we are really excited. We've got a lot of things planned today. We're going to show you the old traditional morning market and then the new uh, Chinese night market. And we are super excited and I'm hungry. So let's go explore. <laughs> We are about one hour from the nearest major city, or about a little bit longer, about an hour and a half, and that would be Ningbo City, which is a coastal city on the east coast of China, and we are kind of exploring this market, and there is a ton of fresh seafood you can see behind me here. The people are really friendly. Uh, it has all the aspects of any good market. There's dried foods, uh, fresh meats, pork beef, and uh, lots of seafood, lots of fresh vegetables, of course. And we're just kind of exploring. And there is a lot of shops kind of just outside the main market that sell a lot of the ready to eat food. So we're gonna go over there in a little bit and start snacking. So we found a cool looking little spot that's selling some really authentic uh, Chinese breakfast items. So they've got all kinds of things, but the one thing that caught my eye was the da bing, which is a kind of baked bun that's stuffed with pork fat. So we just went into the shop, he's kind of making them by hand. He takes the dough and then he fills it with just green onions and then pork fat. So this should be pretty juicy and then he's baking them in this sort of tandoor oven and uh, he uses this big long kind of utensil to dig them out of there, but they smell really, really good and there's a lot of locals uh, trying these out so we're gonna get one try it for ourselves okay we've got our da bing with uh, topped with a lot of sesame seeds it's really really busy in here but this smells so good I'm actually just gonna tear right into this and you can see already that juicy pork fat kind of greasing the inside of that bun and oh man that smells phenomenal let's try a big bite oh. mm. Mm -mm. That is ridiculously fresh. Hot out of the oven that he's baking them in over there. Super, super crispy on the outside and just a slight flavor from those green onions that are inside. But really the best part is the juiciness from that pig fat that is in there. It's kind of got a saltiness to it as well, but really, really crispy and a nice little touch of sesame as well. Perfect way to start our Chinese breakfast tour today through this rural market. We're gonna keep going. We saw a lot of other stuff that looks really good. We just found a little spot near the market that is selling some hun tun or wonton soup and it looks really cool. They're pumping these out. There's a lot of people eating here. 
Okay, we're sitting down at this little shop now and we've ordered up some really beautiful looking wonton soup. So these are just so delicate looking. You can see the wrapper on the outside. Very, very delicate, very soft looking. And there's a lot of them in here as well. And it looks like just some green onions in there. We've also got a chili oil and then some, some black vinegar here that I'm going to pour into my soup. Just a little bit though. That should be good. And mix that around a little bit. And let's dig into these. Okay, there is so many of these wontons in here. I don't know, I'm guessing there's at least 10 or more. And this was six renminbi, which is about one US dollar. So I'm gonna try one first by itself with a little bit of the soup that we've poured vinegar into before I top with the chili. Let's try that. Mm. Oh, 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 that's really, really good. There is a slight chili or a little bit of vinegar, and I guess this is some chili that he's just come to put inside. And I'm gonna mix that around, I guess uh, that'll help the flavor. But oh, those are so delicate, like extremely delicate, and it's also got like a bit of an acidic tinge to it from that, from that uh, black vinegar that we put in. Okay, let's try another one now that he put the, I think that was chili. Let's try it, we'll find out. Mm. 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 Oh. oh, that's really good. Yeah, that was a chili. Not too spicy though. And this isn't oily really whatsoever. That's really, really nice. I'm actually gonna try one more and let's try it with the uh, chili oil that we've got on the side here. So grab one of these. Look at how delicate that is. It's like a noodle on the outside. And give it a nice douse in the chili. And let's try that. Mm. Mm. So those are just filled with a little bit of pork, a little bit of green onions, and then it sort of renders in there, the fat renders, and it sort of turns into a liquid. It's almost like a little bit of a soup dumpling, but it's not packed full. It's mostly about that really delicately thin wrapper. Oh man, these are super addicting actually. Mm -hmm. Okay guys, these are delectable. These are super, super addicting. Can't stop eating these. And the man that came over and gave me some chili, that was definitely a perfect addition to this wonton soup. I'm actually just gonna double up for my last one and then eat two in one. And there was, I think I said there was 10, there must have been at least 20 in there. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Finished our snacking for this morning. That was really cool exploring that market and we tried some really good food, both that uh, daubing, the baked bun, and also the wontons that we just had were both really, really good. So we are going to take you to the night market later, but I think we have something that we can show you in between, which we are going to go to right now. So let's go there. So we have come to a tea field here in China. We saw these on our way in and we wanted to come back and explore them. It looks like the women are just finishing up for the day, picking tea. You can see them all finishing off here. And these are just rolling beautiful mountains. Hello, hello. <laughs> rolling hills of tea and it smells really good out here. There's a lake down behind us. So we're gonna just kind of walk around and explore, probably fly the drone here in a little bit and show you guys the view from above. Okay, we're gonna fly the drone uh, over top of the tea fields here, give you guys a different perspective. I hope you have been, been enjoying our drone footage. It's a lot of fun to fly. We have the Mavic Pro, the white version, and it's been really good to us so far. I find the image is really, really good too, so let's try flying it here. Okay, just finished off flying the drone. I think we got some pretty cool shots. Make sure you let me know down in the comment section what you think. And right now we're gonna head back to the hotel, take a little uh, break and then wait for it to get dark and we will head to the night market tonight to show you guys around and definitely do a lot of snacking.
Okay, so it is nightfall and we have come to Ningbo City. So we were on the outskirts this morning and as I promised, we have come to the night market. This is called Nantang and it is totally different than what we showed you this morning, which was a traditional Chinese morning market. This is a more kind of tourist friendly uh, new night market. So it is actually housed in these old style buildings, but they have been heavily renovated. So far it looks pretty cool and there should be lots to eat in there. So we're gonna go inside and explore and find something to snack on. Wait. So we found a pretty cool spot in the market and we've kind of just invited ourselves into the kitchen and this is a Xinjiang specialty. So they're cooking up lamb skewers on charcoal and it is seriously so ridiculously smoky in here. It smells amazing. And they're cooking up, I don't know, hundreds of them over here on this really, really cool uh, charcoal grill. Okay, we've ordered up our skewers of lamb and that was a really cool spot within this market, kind of hidden inside of a restaurant and they're cooking those over charcoal as you just saw and these look phenomenal and I can already smell the cumin coming off of that lamb meat. So these are actually just on a, a some sort of tree branch. <laughs> you can see this is uh, completely a legit stick. So let's take a big bite and try this out. Mm. Mm. Okay, that is really, really juicy lamb. It was kind of chewy though. It wasn't as tender as I was hoping, but it has such an amazing smokiness to it. And then that cumin is just kind of like, not spicy, but it kind of just coats your whole mouth with this really nice flavor. And there is a little bit of chili peppers going on in there too. And it is juicy meat, but it's not very tender. And there was a big piece of fat in that bite. So maybe, maybe this will be a better bite. Mm. Oh, there's some little crispy knobs that have been burnt from that hot charcoal. And they've got a really amazing charcoal burnt flavor to them. Mm, that's really good. So unfortunately there wasn't too much to snack on here. We did have some really good lamb skewers, but all the other places kind of seemed really touristy and there's a lot of desserts, but it certainly was a very leisurely walk through this Nantang market here in Ningbo City. So I definitely would recommend you to try it out, but also try to do like we did and get outside the city and try to find one of those authentic traditional morning markets. So this is our last video from Ningbo and then we are continuing on our journey. So we are super excited. China has been amazing so far. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave me any questions you have in the comment box and subscribe for more videos like this. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.